what's up, man? What's up, everybody? Welcome back to Hot Rich Reacts. It's I am for the seven one three. We're back with another episode. Uh, if you haven't yet subscribed to the channel, go ahead, please like, subscribe right now, hit the notification sign so you can be notified of my future episodes. Very much appreciated, guys. And also, if you haven't yet followed me on IG on Instagram, go ahead, and follow me right now at seven one three moe or repeat seven one three moe just in case anything happens to the channel. Y'all know where to find me, man. Uh, but anyway, first of all, before we get started, I want to talk about what's going on currently with my channel, bro. I mean. Um, I guess YouTube, bro, or these uh, damn AI robots are really, really trying to take my damn channel down, bro. They're going as far as lying about some of the content that I put to try to get me banned or flagged or something like that. I mean, it's just weird, bro. I've been getting uh, notifications and saying uh, that uh, my I've been showing nudity on here or some shit like that. Like, what the fuck? No, I, I haven't, bro. I mean, it's just it's ridiculous. Now, I'm going to show you an example, bro, of what I'm talking about. And uh, I don't know if y'all remember that video that I posted about two videos ago about the transgender and the Vietnam veteran. Well, that video got flagged for for showing sexual nudity or some shit. I don't know, man, it's weird. Oh, right, let me put that, let me pull it up real quick. I mean, I'm gonna show you the exact email what they sent me, bro. At this point, they're being petty and they're trying to find any way to give me a strike, but I mean, it's just weird, bro. Look, hi, Harris Reacts. We wanted to let you know, uh, our team reviewed your content and we think it violates our sex and nudity policy. So they said their team reviewed the content, okay? We know you may have not realized this, but it was a violation of our policy, so we're not applying a strike to your channel. However, we have removed the following content from YouTube. All right, I mean, it's just weird, bro. What the fuck? Uh, thumbnail on video, Vietnam veteran confronts a transgender woman. Irish reacts, full episode. We realize this may be disappointing, but it's our job to make sure that YouTube is a safe place for all. If you think we made a mistake, you can appeal the decision. Which I did. Well, the video never got taken down. I don't know what what's up with that. Let me see if it got taken down. What's nope. up, what's up, man? What's up, everybody? It's still there. August 11th. I mean, I guess it was just the thumbnail, but it's just a bunch of BS, bro, at this point. I mean, it seems like they're really mad that I'm still uploading videos or something. I don't know. I mean, I'm already heavily shadow banned. What, what else do they want? They're accusing me of things that, I, that I'm not doing. I ain't showing no damn nudity on here. We think I'm stupid. It's not my first rodeo YouTube, man. YouTube's on that BS, man. They're just steadily trying to uh, take my, my channel down, I guess. Coming up with lies. Talking about they reviewed my content and it shows nudity. Yeah. All right. All right. But anyway, that's the this is one of the many BS things that I have to go through with YouTube, bro. Right now, YouTube is very heavily censored. Anything that I say right now, especially that I'm being watched right now, I can't even I can't even talk, bro. I can't even talk. I can't be myself. But you know what? I didn't get this far just to stop. All right. So we're gonna, you know, we're gonna talk about that thing again. You know. But at this point, all my watchers, y'all probably know what that thing is, right? A lot of BS is going on right now. All right. Uh, FDA approved, supposedly, the fastest approval in any medical research history, bro. This is unheard of, bro. The fastest vaccine approval in FDA history. Those who've been waiting for full approval should go get your shot now. They were still in the clinical trials uh, trying this out, and this is the fastest approved thing ever in history, bro. It's just, uh, it's ridiculous. And now the shit storm is gonna, is gonna break loose. Now, nobody has an excuse to not to take it. This is what they said. The move paves the way for more corporations, government, and schools to issue vaccine mandates. The Pentagon now preparing to require the shot for its 1.3 million active duty troops. New York City announcing shots will now be required for all school employees, with weekly testing no longer an option. And workers at United Airlines have five weeks to show the now required proof of vaccine. They're going to enforce it now. This is not just if you want to take it or not in, in your certain job. Now that the FDA has approved this thing, you're going to be forced at your job. You're going to you're gonna have to take it now. I mean, this is the next step of the new world order, bro. This is exactly what they wanted. All right. The FDA has a, finally approved this, this thing. I mean, this, that's what everybody's been waiting for, right? Finally, the FDA has approved it. So now somebody's going to be liable, right? No, nobody's liable still. You cannot sue the FDA. Google it. You cannot sue the FDA. They have immunity. All right. So who, who's responsible if anybody gets sick or if you get sick? Nobody. There's still nobody's responsible. It's just going to be more enforced. And, you know, things are going to amp up a thousand percent, bro. They're going to amp up here in the U.S. just like they're amping up in Australia. I mean, this is where we're headed right now, bro.
So $5,000 from the spot breach of home quarantine, $5,000 on the spot for lying on a permit, $5,000 on the spot fine for lying to a contact tracer, $3,000 on the spot fine for breaching the two-person exercise rule, $3,000 on the spot fine for breaching rules going into regional New South Wales. No trial, no, no nothing. Journalists, we have a special jail for journalists. You're stealing, right to jail. You're playing music too loud, right to jail, right away. You're driving too fast, jail. Slow, jail. You're charging too high prices for uh, sweaters, glasses. You write to jail. You undercook fish, believe it or not, jail. You overcook chicken, also jail. Undercook, overcook. You make an appointment with a dentist and you don't show up, believe it or not, jail, right away. We have the best patients in the world. On the spot, $3,000, $2,000 fines, bro. On a pandemic, they're charging people that kind of shit. What the fuck is going on? Not only that, it, it gets even crazier. They're saying, if you do not get it, you're not going to get any medical attention. What Americans don't understand is for every unvaccinated person that's filling up an ICU bed, that means with a hospital's jam, somebody with a heart attack, and I've known somebody in this position, goes there, has trouble getting in, can't get treatment, can't get a bed. It is a nightmare for the doctors. It is a nightmare for the nurses. And to the doctor's uh, point of view, it's worse yet for sick people that want help from them suppose these doctors have walked out because they cannot take all these people that haven't got that thing and they're just so pissed off and they want to it's just a big propaganda bro just people said you can see clearly clearly as they overwhelmed dr jt snarsky is joining us here she's one of the doctors first of all you hear that woman at the school board saying the absurdity how does that make you feel and how do you combat it it's incredibly frustrating because we know vaccines are safe and effective and it's people who go out and talk against them that really go against physicians and medicine and science and it's not the message we want to get across to people vaccines are safe and we need to get our communities vaccinated he's right there man look at that shot it is significant as i said well, he's there, telling the story all, all the, the, here, the doctors and nurses in the back of their they walked out. i mean let me just tell you this about the fda bro to tell you that this has been planned out this has been orchestrated this has been uh, this has been conspired before even the pandemic started. I'm gonna show you this this news outlet about the commissioner of, of the FDA. You know, the FDA commissioner in 2019, he quit his job at the FDA and decided to go on the board on Pfizer. Yeah, you can't make this shit up. Check this out. You know, I mean, this has just been orchestrated, bro. They've been conspiring to do this. Former FDA commissioner Scott Gottlieb joins Pfizer's board of directors. This is June 27, 2019. Former FDA Commissioner Scott Gottlieb joined Pfizer's Board of Directors. Gottlieb stepped down from the FDA in April. While leading the FDA, Gottlieb advanced a number of prescription drug policies. Hmm. Uh, Scott Gottlieb, who stepped down as the Food and Drug Administration Commissioner in April, will join Pfizer's Board of Directors, the company announced Thursday. This is 2019, bro. Gottlieb resigned from the FDA this spring after nearly two years at the helm during his tenure Gottlieb advanced a number of prescription drug policies, including the push of FDA to speed up generic drug approvals and use its powers to encourage wider use of biosimilars or copycat versions of complex and often costly biological drugs. Huh, very interesting. Biosimilar manufacturers, including Pfizer, have complained about roadblocks stalling biosimilars from becoming widely used, having Gottlieb to advise the company help Pfizer, one of the largest biopharmaceutical companies to navigate the landscape. Bro, come on, bro. And you trust the FDA? This is the FDA commissioner. Now in the board of directors of Pfizer. Yeah, that's not strange, is it? There's not no red flags, is it? People, do your research, bro. This is this is out there. I guess this is just all coincidence, huh? I mean, through all the BS, bro, and all these news articles, bro, there's some articles that don't make no damn sense to me, bro. I want to show you another article that don't make no damn sense to me. Uh, I don't know if y'all read this article. This is another Australian article. I mean, it's just insane to me. I don't know if y'all heard the story, bro. They they murdered all these rescue dogs from a shelter in Australia, in this town in Australia, just so people won't go out to adopt dogs. I mean, they want people to stay home so much that they don't want you to adopt a dog from a shelter. I mean, it's just it's ridiculous. Let me read this article, bro. I think I'm saying it wrong, but it's, just, it's in the same line. It's just ridiculous like that. Australian local council investigator for shooting rescue dogs 
to prevent visitors from spreading the the thing. Not they did not just like put them down, bro. The the police went over to the shelter execution style and shot the dogs, bro. It's, it's like they didn't just uh put them down. They shot the dogs. All the rescue dogs. Just so you won't rescue them because it's too dangerous to go outside. Hmm. Horrific news from uh, down under. It's sending shockwaves across the internet as people find out about Australian's rescue dogs who were reportedly shot by local council. What the fuck? Under their interpretation of the thing guidelines, the council shot dogs who, uh, who were due to be rescued by a shelter. The upsetting incident now posing a serious question in the face of uh, ever-changing regulations of uh, when our actions in the name of public safety taken too far bro let's take it way too far bro how are you gonna shoot the whole rescue dogs it's just their logic is so f twisted bro what i mean this is some psychopath type of shit bro why were rescue dogs shot by an australian council officials from the birdshot council in new, new south wales reportedly killed the dogs due to concerns of the thang guidelines they decided that the reason is an attempt to prevent volunteers from traveling to collect the dogs. They feared that the volunteers would transmit the thing after traveling from different locations. <laughs> I mean, it's not funny, bro. This is just fucking... Come on, man. Bro, where's John Wick when we need him? Where is John Wick when we need him? It's just insane to me, bro. It's like some Twilight Zone shit. Once again. There's a, there's a lot more stories going on right now, bro. I just want to come and share a piece of this BS. So hopefully this video doesn't get taken down or for nudity. All right. I vouch for you guys. If this video doesn't go up, you know, I did not show any type of nudity in here or any thumbnail. But, you know, YouTube is probably going to say, I, I showed some, some, I showed something, bro. I flashed y'all guys or something. I don't know what's going on with YouTube. But anyway, this is it for today's episode, bro. Let me know what y'all think about everything that I talk and discuss down below. It's just a chill episode, bro. I just want to come and uh, do a little quick episode for you guys. But anyway, this is it for today's episode. Go ahead and like, subscribe, hit the notification sign. And uh, yeah, man, I'm going to see you on the next episode, bro. Bam.